So my employee Kyler has been working here at UFD Tech for almost one year, and I have a big surprise with him. He has today off because it's a public holiday, so I've spent the day scheming with Best Buy, who's the sponsor of today's video, to figure out how I can secretly upgrade his system because Best Buy's actually hooked us up with upgrading his streaming setup before. You might remember this video that we did with Canon Corsair and Razer where we upgraded his microphone, we upgraded his headset, his chair, his mouse, his camera. Everything was upgraded for his streaming PC besides the PC itself. So we're actually gonna make that streaming PC even better utilizing all of the same peripherals that we had sponsored previously with Best Buy, but I'm taking it a step further by upgrading the rest of his system. And hopefully I can do it without him knowing about it because that's the trick here. I want him to get home, start streaming with his Canon Corsair and Razer stuff, and then find out that his PC was sneakily upgraded here at the office. And I have just the plan to do it. So step one was getting the parts we needed from Best Buy, which we always go to Best Buy in order to get our PC parts because there's one right down the road. They have one hour pickup. And if they don't have it, if there's one available, in a different store in the region, they'll ship it to me same day. It's phenomenal. I love it so much. But you can see that Kyler doesn't suspect a single thing. This just feels like one of our normal Best Buy runs. So I even had him pose for the camera with the 4070 Ti that I'm gonna sneak into his system. Hopefully he won't know anything about it. And we also picked up the 5800X3D because I don't want to change too much in a system where he's gonna notice immediately. I'm hoping a sneaky CPU and GPU upgrade is gonna be enough for us to actually pull this off. So the plan is mildly simple. I told Kyler he needs to bring in his PC to work tomorrow for this Best Buy sponsorship because I needed to get some footage of his streaming PC. He tomorrow, which I plan, has an appointment to go out and file some paperwork for something that we need for the business and he's going to be gone for hopefully at least an hour, at which point I will upgrade the processor that we picked up at Best Buy as well as the GPU that we picked up at Best Buy and he will go home with a brand new streaming set. Setup. In addition to Best Buy upgrading his streaming setup, I also upgraded his monitors for a Christmas present so that he felt like he was upgrading to something good. So 1440p 165 hertz monitors that we also got at Best Buy. Now we finally are here with a new update, getting his PC updated to fit those monitors. So let's see if we can execute this. Project Surprise Kyler. And again, I can't be doing any of this without Best Buy. So big thanks to them for sponsoring today's video, especially all of the parts that we needed to upgrade Kyler's streaming setup. His microphone got upgraded to the Corsair Elgato Wave 3, which makes his voice sound immaculate. The mic has 70 to 20,000 frequency response to make sure that all of his sound patterns are actually being picked up really well. And the condenser capsule produces clear, powerful quality for YouTube, but Twitch streaming, everything that he's using it for sounds immaculate. It also has their proprietary clip guard software so you don't have to worry about watching your levels live to make sure you're not peaking and Elgato also has conscious packaging practices to make sure that they're shipping everything out sustainably. His mouse is now the Razer Viper V2 Pro which is helping him hit some sick nasty headshots. He just needs a PC upgrade to run his games a little faster. The mouse has Razer's Hyperspeed Wireless which has 25% faster connection than other wireless tech available and it lasts up to 80 hours on battery life so he only has to charge it every once in a while and it makes sure that he can actually play really effectively without having to worry about his battery dying or his mouse disconnecting. He's on the Razer Isker X chair, which after months of use at this point, he says feels as good as the day he got it. And the Razer Kraken Kitty headset, which he unironically loves because not only does it fit his ears really well, the sound's really great, but it also has some stream reactions, which he's been able to use in his streams lately. And it also has an active noise cancellation mic, which you can just pinch to mute in case you don't want to be using that, in case he has his Elgato used for some other reason. He can use his on headset mic in case he wants to play on PlayStation. And then lastly, the Canon R10 camera, which he's been using as his webcam stream camera, which is so good that we actually use it for our main UFD tech set here as well. The APS-C camera of the R10 is great for shooting pictures, for live streaming, for video production. It really is a solid all around camera. And the main thing about all of these parts is that they are easily available at 
Best Buy, which you can pick up within one hour at your local Best Buy, or you could have it shipped to you as well. We, as I mentioned, go on regular Best Buy trips so that I can even pull off a video like this because it doesn't seem atypical that we're running to the local Best Buy just to check a few things out, including PC hardware, including PC streaming peripherals, including cameras. Best Buy has a ton of great options for you. You can check them out at the link in the video description. Big thanks again to Best Buy for sponsoring this secret project for Kyler. You guys see him? There he is. Hello. There's the guy. We found him. Hello. We found Kyler. What you doing? We were waiting for you. Oh, okay. You're late. Yeah. <laughs> you good? Yeah. You need help? Nope. Guys, look, he's here. We found him. We found him. <laughs> I can do this. You got it. I got it. Oh, oh, microphone. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> you see what I did? Just put it, put it down first. What'd you do? You'll get there. 12 seconds later. There's a lamp. Is that it? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> what time's your appointment today? I think it's 1.15. Okay. Um. Oh, uh, 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 um, so I needed the XTX. That was in your computer. <laughs> and I was gonna, so there's no GPU in it? I was gonna put the 4070 Ti in there. Right, right, right. Uh, but it didn't fit. Right, right, right. So you have a 106. Word, word. So you need to reinstall drivers and everything. Cool. <laughs> Three hours later. Everybody say goodbye to Kyler. He's leaving. Bye. When leave. will you be back? I'm leaving forever. Oh no. Bye, bye big boy. Okay, he's gone. So there are a few complications with his setup that I did not account for for swapping some of this out. Okay, number one, I knew this is the case that he has. I think this is the Thermal Take Tower 100 or whatever it's called. So I knew that this is what we were dealing with. And when I ordered the GPU from Best Buy, I was accounting for the fact that uh, it only has so much space. I think we should be fine there. The thing I forgot about was the fact that he has a custom colored 12 pin cable for the 3070, whereas the 4070 Ti takes a 16 pin. So that's brightly visible. The GPU is definitely visible. I'm wondering how much I can get away with him not noticing the GPU in here. The 5800X 3D replacement can very easily go under that cooler. He's gonna have no idea. So I think what I would count as a win is if he hopefully doesn't notice the GPU, but if he does, I'll just say, hey, you got a 4070 Ti. Wait for him to discover the 5800X 3D stuff when he gets home. But I think the thing that might save my bacon is he actually has to go somewhere like that he doesn't normally go after work today. So I don't think he's gonna even be really looking or thinking about his computer or that I did anything until later on because he has to do something that he's not used to. And so I think that might save us. Hopefully he doesn't notice it and we'll be good to go. But let's get this thing disassembled and get this GPU and CPU installed before he gets back because uh, I don't know how long he's gonna be gone. Is that an appointment? Things could go wrong. I might, you know, be in the middle of replacing all this when he gets back. All right, this side panel comes off, that side panel comes off, and then the front glass. Let's get the thing he won't notice done first with the 5800X 3D. Oh, crap, except for he probably needs a BIOS update. So I have to do that quickly before I can actually even install this chip. You know what, we'll start with the GPU. Since we're here, let's get this unplugged, uninstalled, and ready to go. RTX 3070 out. And then unique to this RTX 4070 Ti is that it is only like a two slot, two and a half slot, which is very close to what you have on the Founders Edition. It is slightly wider, but I am hoping since it's black and silver, like he just might deceptively, if I don't say anything or don't act weird, he might think that this GPU is still the real one. So let's hopefully get this installed. Uh, I checked and made sure that this GPU can actually fit in this PC case. Uh, the issue that I'm encountering right now is the fact that, oh boy, there's a whole lot of cable management that takes place down here. It makes it very difficult for me to actually install this graphics card. So I'm gonna have to, do some wiggling around. I need to get these cables out of the way so that I can get this graphics card installed. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. There are just so many cables here. I mean, part of the problem is this man has two hard drives just sitting down here. And that's like, oh my gosh, it's just unnecessary. All right, let me create the space that I need for this graphics card. I hope he's okay with me undoing his cable management. It's for the greater good, Kyler, I promise. You're getting a 4070 Ti. Oh, this is taking way longer than I thought it would. Oh, we're so close. Oh, GPU slotted in. There we go. Okay, fan is freely spinning. 
but I have to like get all of these cables back in here and make sure that they're not gonna obstruct the fan on this GPU down here, because that's the tricky part, is getting everything in and making sure it still fits. And now I'm wondering, because I've actually never done this before, the 12 pins from the previous generation cards, do those still work, even though the new 4070 Ti requires a 16 pin? Because if I can just keep this in, then I think that's gonna go much smoother. Because here, the, the power cable physically fits. It'll go in. The 12 pin's exactly the same. It just doesn't have the extra sensor pins. So this fits, but I don't know if it works. But we'll find out. New GPU installed. Oh man, that looks so much different than the 3070. I don't see me getting away with this being installed. The only thing I don't have worked out is what I'm gonna do with his uh, 3070. I just have to hide this in the meantime because I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. So that's done. Now I can actually check and see if this works with the 12 pin. Hopefully it does. And then I can get back to installing a 5800X3D after a BIOS update. Two very boring minutes later. Okay, bad news, the 12 pin didn't actually work. The GPU didn't even spin up, nothing actually displayed. So I have to somehow get it to look like I did nothing and like keep this cable right there so it still looks pink. I, I think I'm overthinking this and he's gonna, he's gonna notice right away, but I'm gonna try my best here. All right, 16 pin firmly plugged in. Everything should work like this. I'm gonna get everything else installed and then try to figure out how I'm gonna like shape it so this looks like it's the same pink cable, but oh man, that's gonna be a tricky part. I, I feel like I'm gonna be busted as soon as he sees it. Hopefully not. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, I uh, ran into an unexpected complication. Uh, not with the BIOS update, that went flawlessly. We're totally ready to go with installing the new CPU. However, we did run into a little hiccup with the fact that uh, just like any reasonable person would, Kyler decided to put a password on his Windows account. So I actually can't get in and install the BIOS update in order to make sure that the PC is ready to go for the GPU. So he's gonna know something's up as soon as he plugs all of this in because his display settings are gonna be all out of whack and broken. Okay, so the surprise still can work as long as I can just make it so that he only notices when he gets home. That's the most important thing. I don't want him to notice at work. I don't want him to think anything's up. I just want him to discover, hey, Brett gave me a brand new killer CPU and killer GPU is sponsored by Best Buy. Oh, thanks so much. It's great. It's amazing. Then I can tell him how thankful I am for him and how amazing he's been to have over the last year that he's been working here at UFT Tech and that it's my pleasure and I really hope that he puts it to good use playing all of the video games and streaming all of the things that he wants with the new setup from Best Buy. 5800X3D, ready to go. Okay, everything is now installed. This PC should now be significantly faster than it was before and I think I'm just gonna try to route this down here so that the pink is like Oh yeah, there we go. Just kind of shove it in the little excess hole that it has. Maybe he won't notice the extra black cable that's right there. Hopefully he doesn't notice the rest of everything that's going on. And now it's time to close it up and hopefully, shh, Kyler won't know I upgraded his PC. Okay, that looks close. I think the biggest issue that we're gonna run into is that GPU die right there looks distinctly different from this black backplate that the 3070 has. So Kyler just texted me that he's not gonna be back at work anytime soon, so we still have a little bit of time, but his PC is gonna be the fastest that it can possibly be in the setup that he wants. I talked to him about changing out his case. He said he was very happy with the thermal take, kind of just poking and prodding, seeing what he wanted changed. He mentioned that he did want to get a 5800X3D upgrade at some point. I already upgraded his monitors for him, so a 40 70 Ti made a lot of sense to help him hit that high frame rate where the 3070 might actually fall short. And now it's just time to see how far it can get before he notices that I swapped everything out. Detail. Did you get everything you needed of the PC? Yeah, yeah, I think I'm done. I okay. just got all the B-roll that I, I could. Okay. So yeah, you're free to take that. Watch Kyler struggle with this bag. I just stopped struggling. Oh, you finished the AAA? Yes. Nice, okay. My son! Your PC! Take it home. It's so much heavier than it looks. It's because it's so dense. It's because there's 25 hard drives in it. Do you need help? Do you want me to get the door? I could have gotten that could have gotten the door for you. That's my bad. You don't need to get anything else? I don't think so. Okay. Have a good day. Okay. Okay, bye. Two, night, night. Alright, love you too. Goodbye.
Yeah. Yep, you too. So I can see him through my car and it looks like he's examining the PC. I think he's noticed. And I think he knows that I'm out here. I really hope that he didn't notice. He's looking at me. Is he coming back? No, he's done. Hold on, we need to not show any personally identifiable information for the video. Am I safe here? Should we maybe face your house or? Maybe duck in front of your car. Duck in front of my car? Yeah, I'll yeah. just casually lean. Hey, Brett. Yeah? Yeah, did you did you happen to maybe drop something accidentally inside of my computer? Uh, would, and, are you talking about the hard drives I took out? Uh, you took out the hard drives? Maybe. Uh, those were important. Um, no, there's, uh, there's something different in it. Oh yeah? Yeah, I couldn't help but notice. <laughs> Yeah. There's a, what, what looks to be a, a 4070 Ti, I believe, in there. How would you know that? Because uh, I went to Best Buy with you the other day, and you were acting weird, and you recorded something on your phone. For the sponsorship. Yeah. <laughs> Happy one year anniversary. Happy one year. Why is that upside down? I don't, I don't know. We're filming upside down. Happy <laughs> one year <laughs> anniversary. Thanks, Thanks Best, Best Buy. Buy. Uh, don't, don't check your processor. He noticed as he was putting it into his car, I was scot-free when he picked it up. I even positioned it so you couldn't see the new graphics card that I put into his PC from this side. But he decided to walk around the table to pick it up. And I was like, oh no, he's gonna notice. But he didn't notice. On the walkout, everything was fine. It was only when he went to go put it in his car <laughs> that he saw that I upgraded his GPU for him and saw that it was completely different. But he did say putting the pink cable back actually made it so he didn't notice at first and he thought it was the same GPU, but no, it wasn't. It wasn't at all. And I got this close to him getting home and realizing he had a brand new PC. I was this close.